Hey guys, Trevor Christian here today with, and we're back with Fruit Baskets episode 12. What? Always looked forward to the Fridays when this is released. I'm hoping, on my enemy list, it says episodes unknown. So I'm hoping episode 12 isn't the last episode, because usually that's where they end. So I'm hoping this is 25. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be, as it says season 2 at the start, at the, it says season 1. So the plan on doing multiple seasons, but I do hope this is 25 episodes because I just want to have this going on for a couple, at least a few more weeks. Like I don't think 12 episodes satisfies my need for this show. Like I want it to keep going as I'm enjoying it so fucking much. So it looks like last episode we've got a few more of the members of the clan moving into the house. So it means we've got more side characters, so more liveliness around the house. It's going to be fun seeing all the characters interact with each other. Um, as I love seeing that part of the show, so I'm glad to have a few more people join up there in the house. We got a lot more Yuki last episode, a lot more about him again. So I love how we're still growing the two main boys, and there's still so much to learn about them both. And that's what I'm liking. Like this is paced really well. Like I'm still learning a lot about the clan and people and the characters that we've known, and more of the motives, and not feeling like we've learned everything about them just yet. And we're 12 episodes in, so I love that, and I'm just loving how the story's slowly progressing. I'm loving how we're slowly now 12 episodes in. I feel like yeah, it's time to just get some side characters to come and join the clan house, especially because I like the. I especially like the Y here, dude. I think he's pretty cool, so I'm looking forward to see how they're going to unfold that. But right, guys, let's just get into this reaction. So if you enjoy, please like and subscribe. It always helps, and I always appreciate it. Um, I'm doing another season of anime, along with next season starts soon, guys. So come on, jump on, subscribe, and get ready for the hype that is next season. And also, opening two of Fruit Baskets, because I hope they're doing opening two, because usually at this point, there'll be another opening. I look forward to jumping into this, guys. So please, let's get let's get into this. The wait for the dub was intense, but it's finally here. Let's go. Oh, ready? Oh, <laughs> I was just really tempted to watch the sub. I was just there. I was like, I need to. I'm just gonna watch the sub. But I'm like, I'm gonna hold off. Oh, I can relate with the hay fever. Fucking hate it, mate. The meds don't always help. Whoa! <laughs> just low key threw that out there. I love Akira just in the background chilling. <laughs> For fuck's sake, poor Yuki, he's just gonna get swarmed. Oh, wait. Oh, that's the. Is that the clan leader? What the fuck's she doing at the school? Is it Okide? I can't remember her name. I think it's Okide. Oh, would he ever do that? <laughs> Fucking whipped. <laughs> the intensity. I love her two friends. They've got quite a lot of personality. <laughs> I love how I can't argue. I love how happy she is all the time. I really love that. That's so, it's so good. Oh, we'll talk about. Oh, he's going to get jealous. Yes, she is. Jealousy, key are getting jealous. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Alpha mailing up here. <laughs> Shit moment. I love them. <laughs> Toru, she's so simple. She's definitely grown on me a lot. <laughs> Kia's so. He's low key adorable, isn't he? I don't normally say that about guy characters in anime. <laughs> Fucking tanks! Oh yeah, he's going to hug her. <laughs> Wait, is he, is he wearing a fucking girl uniform? I didn't even know it is. <laughs> Getting intense. Ooh. <laughs> Dark Horror is a lad, mate. Oh, now they're going to start each other, for fuck's sake. The school's definitely going to be more interested. Oh, smooth. Why is Toru just always got one face? Ooh! I did not need to see that. I just don't want to see him cross dress. It's like Klaus from Final Fantasy VII. Oh, he's going to show him his pubes, isn't he? 
Yep. Can it serve his peeps? <laughs> That's all the proof he needed. <laughs> He did. That was an interesting. I like how I showed that. It just shows that was a good way to get him all to interact with each other. Oh, Toru, you innocent girl. He's gonna get attacked by Kyo. <laughs> and then they both attacked him. <laughs> <laughs> they both attacked. Oh, Terry, so innocent. I love it. Look at her eyes. I love the facial expressions in this show. It just makes it so much better. Finally get to meet this person. Alright, Akito, that's how you pronounce it. Okay. I'll wait for off then. Are we going to learn more about her now? Yui, she seems to be obsessed with him though. Yuki, she seems to be obsessed with Yuki. He fuck, he's gonna. Oh, no, no, mate, he looks terrified. That's a relief. So, how about a she seems way too nice. What did you do? Fuck it out. He has very trusted. You've never seen him like this. Mate, he looks terrified. Her. Is she a fucking Yori type character? Mate. Like that, really that change in personality was quick. Look how terrified he is. Mate, I've never seen Yuki so terrified. Okay, we had a number of dark characters in the show. I think that balances it out a bit. See, when the, when the show, I like how the show is doing this. It's mixing like, um, it's not just all happy fluff. There's actually some serious stuff going on in the background, especially with the characters past. And I'm enjoying that. I'm glad they added stuff like that. Why are you obsessed with Yuki? The old Kyo is watching. Fucking hell. I'm loving it. I'm loving the intense looks they're giving. That's what I mean. It just makes it so much more interesting when shows add like a little bit more of a dark a dark elements to it. Oh, mate. I didn't expect Light Sword to be added in the show. At least that makes him happy. Fucking hell. That was intense. I like how the show has a balance of tone. I thought it was just all going to be like comedy and light heartedness, but the past four episodes have definitely proved me wrong there. Mate, <laughs> Yuki don't want you. Fucking hell. That's really twisted. Who can repair it? Yes. He's so wise. I love this guy. I can't tell. Is he loyal to Akito or not? Because he wouldn't have got Thingy out of there if not. I like where we're going with this show. So much development. Say the person can't run. No. 
Oh, if they ever wiped through his memory, I'd be fucking fuming. But she's saying... Why is she saying him? Is it him or female? I can't tell. It says female on the wiki. I don't know. I'm just going to... Fuck it. Is it Sheaf now? Correct me in the comments. Do, 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 do. Fantastic episode. The one thing I'm loving about this show at the moment. It has a nice bl blend of light tone, happiness, romance. Not, not, it's not really gone too romance yet, but it has the shit moments, which I love. Um, and I don't need the romance moments yet. I'm happy with just the shit moments and then like building on the characters. I love that stuff. The development in characters always come first for me. Um, but it has those darker elements in it and it has like a background story in the background and the way like Yuki was trembling and ter how terrified he was it was so interested it's like what the fuck went on um, obviously locking him in a room and just put other stuff while we went on and then like the interaction with Toru and then seeing what uh, Akito thought of Toru afterwards and what that sort of plan is I like the whole like dark aspect that threw in there and it just makes the tone it has that nice they've still got the happy in it's like I say, uplifting show, but I like how it's got that in it as well to make the story so much more interesting and then it adds more to character development. Like, we've got so much we can grow with the characters. And it's maybe like Yuki a lot more. Like, I think Kyo is best boy, but Yuki is really good, like a really great character in his own right as well with like his backstory and, his, and stuff that's going on. And I even love the bit where you just see like uh, Kyo looking out the window like angrily at um, Akito. It's just so interesting. I'm so much more to learn about this world. I'm loving it a lot more than I thought it would be. Like, I'm loving this show, like, generally. Like, when I first started, I thought I'd like it, but I'm really loving it. I'm only fucking 12 episodes in. I can't wait to finish the rest of it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction. Hope to see you next week. And peace.